Okay, so in this video, we're continuing to look at how we evaluate expressions when we're given the values of the variables. And, and often this is referred to as substitution. So each of these expressions right here have been reduced and simplified um, almost to their full extent and in probably in a way that you wouldn't go any further. So there's nothing to do to them other than to plug these values in. So for part E, right, if it's, it says Z to the third power plus W to the third power, and that's over Z to the third power minus W to the third power, we should plug in the variable values that we have for Z and W. So Z is negative three, and that means that negative three is being raised to the third power plus 4 to the third power, which is w, right, 4, and then over negative 3 to the third power again, this time minus 4 to the third power. And what's going to happen? Well, negative 3 to the third power, in both cases it means the same thing. It means negative 3 multiplied out 3 times, which means negative 3 times negative 3, and so forth. And how we can solve this is to recognize, well, we have three negative factors. That gives us a negative product, and that should give us negative 27. So here, in both cases, these will be equal to negative 27. Plus 4 to the third power, that just means 4 multiplied out three times, and that gives us 64. So now let's evaluate this. Um, we we'll use green. So we have negative 27 plus 64 over negative 27 minus 64. Negative 27 plus 64, you can think about, I mean, I, I would picture a number line there. You're starting at negative 27. You hop up 27 to reach 0. And you still have to hop up a bunch to reach the full extent that 64 would take you. And if you can't figure out what that is, try just doing this, 64 minus 27. Right, that'll tell you what's left over to hop up here. And here, I'm going to bar this 10 and get 14 minus 7, which is 7, 5 minus 2, which is 3, and that's 37. So negative 27 plus 64 is 37. So that's 37. And then negative 27 minus 64. Well, now we're starting at negative 27, and we're going the other way. This time, we're taking 64 away. So this distance right here, whatever it is, I can just think of it as adding the t distance to 27 and adding, an, adding another 64. So over here, I'm going to write 64 plus 27. Now, right, when I add these two, 7 and 4 is 11. So now we have one extra 10. 60 and 10 and 20 is 90, so that's 91. So now I get 37 over 91. But it's really negative 91, and that's because we started with a negative, and then we subtracted from that. And if you think about in general what's going to happen, if this is 0 and I start at any negative number, let's say negative 1, and I take any amount away from that, by subtracting from a negative, I still go in the negative direction. It's going to be less than 0. So this fraction we can write as 37 over neg negative 91, or negative 37 over 91 or negative 37 over 91 and, and then we're done. All right.